here with head coach John Redmond of the Lincoln men's basketball team. Coach, started the season last weekend at uh, the Southwest Baptist Classic. I uh, got a chance to finally see your new players in action. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you saw from your players overall. Uh, overall, I, you know, I like I said, early in the season, Dan, I, I really liked them. I uh, We had a first opportunity to really see us under fire. Up until Friday night, we had never been under fire. We had no clue what to expect. Uh, we had high expectations, but we hadn't played anybody where we could see some of the things we saw Friday. I thought uh, I thought they played hard. Uh, we didn't shoot very well Friday. I think that was the key for us. We shot 22% across the board, and as you know, that's not going to win any ball games. Uh, and I think that was the biggest thing uh, for us, uh, that in uh, second and third shots on Friday night. But we bounced back Friday, I mean Saturday, and I thought they played well. Excellent. I thought they played well enough to win Saturday. Uh, we had an opportunity. We we led with four minutes to go in the game. Uh, they was playing well. Uh, we had a few calls go against us, but that's part of the game. But the biggest thing I thought Saturday was the crucial turnovers with uh, two minutes to go in the ball game that we had that cost us the game. I thought the kids shot very well. They shot 40%. I thought we was a little shell shock early. That and on Friday, and I think that was the difference in the lopsided score. Uh, you know, again, you got to score, and I think uh, Saturday they proved to me they would be better, and they shot the ball way better on Saturday afternoon than they did Friday. Well, like you said, uh, you know, your opener was against an Arkansas Tech team yes. that. Uh, year in, year out seems to be a really good squad. Yes, They're yes, well coached, yeah. and uh, yeah, they you know they obviously are not a team that you can come out no. and shoot poorly against. No. But against Henderson State, you guys came out. You talked about having the lead. You mm -hmm. talked about how in the last uh, few seconds you had a chance to at least tie the game, yes, if not take the, the lead. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, obviously, you know the team rebounded or you know responded well yes, from the did. first loss. Mm -hmm. uh, with your home games coming up against. Uh, Rockhurst and, and Maryville this yes. week. Does that give your players a little bit of confidence? Matter of fact, uh, it gives them a lot of confidence because the last thing I heard from them as I was leaving the locker room, uh, one of my seniors said, let's go get these two on this week and we'll be 500. So to me, that's a plus. You know, the kids understand. Uh, and the biggest thing when you start playing is that the players understand what they have to do. And we have talked about this in the off season. We have to win the games at home to give ourselves a chance all the way around, non-conference and conference play. So they understand what they have to do this week, and uh, and it's and it's crucial for us because we got the we got the next three at home, and that's that could be very important for us how we do on the season, turn this thing around early instead of waiting later in the season, get this thing turned around right now. And I feel once they get that first victory, I think they can roll from there. And I'm hoping that's Wednesday night. Well, uh, just looking at the stat sheet, you know, Joshua Bowie and Mike Smith both had strong debuts. Yes. Uh, but, you know, you were there, you were watching the game, and you, uh, you got the coach's eye. Who stood out to you? I thought our freshmen played excellent. Uh, for the first college games, they, they, they really played well. Uh, Robert Hopkins uh, shot the ball so well on Saturday. Uh, I was very impressed with him. Uh, you know, especially after you see him on Friday where he was shooting air balls, and I think most of his situation was nerves. Uh, but, you know, after he got that first game on his belt and he came out Saturday, I put him in early, and he just shot lights out. You know, he scored nine points. Uh, he played well. Uh, you know, I had some concern after Friday. But, you know, it's one of those things you still got to go back to the well. You got to give them back, you know. And I and I understood as I walked off the floor Friday, I understood once I looked in all those kids' eyes is that, uh, you know, nervousness, uh, wanted to do well. And when things, as you said, we played an experienced basketball team. You're talking about a basketball team that had won four conferences, titles in a row, and four NCAA's appearance in the last four years straight. So we played a team that's been there, done that, and understand how to win. Uh, even Friday, we came out and jumped on them early. Uh, we didn't hold it. The experience took over, but, uh, you know, the kids understand. And just like Saturday, we jumped on Tennessee State. We just can't get it done yet. And I think they understand that they have to be consistent. We missed crucial free throws. Uh, you know, we had... Clay Crouch, I think, was probably my best free throw shooter. He missed at crunch time, and that broke up. You know, we had situations where I think as they play, they get better. 
right now, two games, and it's like I tried to explain to them Saturday after the game, this is not going to make our season. Uh, I'm hoping we learn. I, I told them Friday to learn from that game. They did by their performance on Saturday. And so what I tried to do again is tell them Saturday, uh, heads up, uh, we learned again, we're getting better. And that's all I want them to do is get better. And, you know, and again, they're, they're playing hard. Uh, they might not get the results uh, this weekend, but I tell you what, they played hard. They uh, never quit. Even when we was down Friday night and, you know, things just didn't look very well, they still played. And, and that was the most important to me that I wanted to see this weekend is what kind of competitors we have on this basketball team. And even when we was down, those kids still challenge and still play. You know, they never quit until their horn sounded. All right, home games this week against Rockhurst and Maryville yes. on uh, Wednesday and Friday. What's going to be the main thing that you're going to be uh, working on? De defensively, uh, for Rockhurst, is because how disciplined they are. I, they just played Emporia last night and, at Rockhurst, and I just got the scouting report from Emporia, and I'm going to go back and finish start preparing practice. Uh, the thing about getting ready for them is we got to come out and hit them in the mouth early because if the, the word is if you let them stick around because they're so disciplined, uh, they can wear it, you know, and they start to believe that they can beat you, they will beat you. And I got to instill in our players, we got to be ready from the tip off and we can't give them any life where they can feel good about themselves that they can beat us because they're so disciplined and they – Offensively, they run their motion so well. You know, they don't do like some teams where they make two or three passes and they shoot it. They will run it and run it until they get what they want. So the key for us is being disciplined on defense and uh, playing hard and coming out early and getting the job done. All right, Coach. Good luck this week. Thank you.